Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Luna Client for Minecraft Java in 2025. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you're interested, but simply go to your search bar and search up for Luna Client, like so. Once you do this, you should see lunaclient.com. Simply click on the link, and this will bring you to the homepage for Luna Client. Now, simply go to the top of the website to download. And once you click this, simply scroll down a tiny bit and you have different ways of downloading it. Now we will be using the Windows method here. So simply click on Windows and click download. Here, we have automatically downloaded Luna Client as we can see right here, lunaclientinstaller.exe. So simply close your web browser and now open up your downloads folder. Once you do this, you should see lunaclient.exe here, or if you have a different download directory, you might see it there. But what you want to do, once you found the .exe file for that, simply double click it. And this will start the installation process for lunaclient. So simply click next, once you see this window. You will have to accept the terms here. And click next. And now it is just installing lunaclient for us. So let's just wait for that. And you might have like let Windows and App access your location. In this specific case, you don't need to let them have your location. So just do no, or yes if you really want to, or just do no. And if we open up the launcher again, we will see this. So what you can do here is simply go to login with Microsoft account to actually play Minecraft. So let's simply do that. And this will open up a little sign-in page for Lunar Clients. So simply Logging to your Microsoft account, which has bought Minecraft Java, of course. So simply go ahead and do that. And once you did this, you should see that we have our little skin in our player name. And this is how we know that we are currently logged in. So you can do quite a lot of things with Linux client. So for example, if we go to this main page, you'll be using a lot of that because this is how you launch Minecraft Java. If we go ahead on the little icon here on launch game, then we go to the right of it, we should see the drop down menu, and here is how we choose Minecraft versions. So you can see that we have 1.21. It's like, oh yeah, well, how do we play 1.1.4, for example? Well, I'll simply go to the versions here and select 1.1.4. Pretty cool. Here you can choose if you want vanilla or you just want the fabric. Fabric will let you use mods, like so. And the version settings, this just lets you change some things. So, for example, if we do like global here, we can go up you can add more ram lower the amount of ram which is pretty good you can change the loaders and everything so that is useful you have some mods we can do explore mods here this will open up modwind and he will be able to download mods from modwind like so so yeah but once you chose your minecraft version simply go and launch game and this will just start downloading the game for you so what we have here we have a window here of the logs and we here we have the uh, like actual window that we're interested in so this one is the log window and this one is the game window here which will just download everything and then we will be able to launch minecraft java 1.1.4 so let's just wait for that to finish and once lunar client has closed this means that minecraft java is right here and what we can do is simply wait for the Java. Here it is, Minecraft Java. And this is just normal Minecraft Java, but with Lunar Client. So, for example, if we go to a single player world, we can see that we have all Minecraft worlds. And if we go to multiplayer, which is just servers, we might have a little thing here that says, do you want access to private networks? This is to connect to servers, so do allow. And here we can see that we can have things as well. So, yeah. That's kind of how we get Lunar Client. And for example, if we go to single player again, and we can just play on a world, just like normal Minecraft, but you do have more quality of life features with Lunar Client. So there you go, we can really start seeing them right here. And if we go on escape, of course, we have multiplayer here. You can see that we have multiplayer that we can directly connect, which is pretty good. We can host world, which is what this multiplayer thing is. So. People can just connect to your world using this, which is pretty useful. And yeah, we have Lunar Options, which is where Lunar Client really shines. It really gives you a lot of options that you can choose. So we can go down here, for example, 
we have a lot of features that comes with Lunar Cloud. This is why we use Lunar Cloud. So yeah, we can do CPS. Here you can see we have a little CPS counter on the top left. And yeah, that's with Lunar Cloud. Lunar Cloud is just a Minecraft launcher and just gives you a bit more quality of life and also help with opt optimization with mods and also just with the client itself. So yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.